Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Velcro. Remember, Velcro fixes everything. It's also how morons tie their shoes. Bandages. Must have been very fucking poorly. Oh, it's had the crayon. Oh, that is the worst fucking thing someone do with a gun. They go on fucking Facebook and be like, oh, I've put crayon in the lettering uh, and I didn't eat any, I promise. Sounds like a fry tech. That's it. Chop down the nozzle. Perfect. Just chop the end off. Wrong screws. One really fucking in there. And the base plate isn't on properly. Gets better. That's super glued in. So let's go through it. The Jefftron's in there. He was giving me some double taps on the 7.4, probably settings. It seems like it works. So that's good. The grease in here is like sticky, like my fingers stick to it. So I've got no idea what the fuck that is, but literally, it's sticky. So that's bullshit. We had one single self-tapping screw that was holding part of the gearbox in. Uh-oh, Sorbo pad. So guess what that means? We're not using that. And the piston's fucked. Of course it's fucked. Sorbo pads. Far too fucking big, far too fucking soft. Cylinder head is knackered. Nozzle's chopped down, so that's knackered. Cylinder is going to be fine. The gears are going to be fine. There is not a huge budget to get this done, so we're going to reshim the gears and change out the bevel gear because these are noisy and trash. That's the plan. This is really good, right? I've oiled this, and whatever it is, it doesn't come off. And look how clumped up it is in the corners. I mean, fuck me, look at this. It doesn't come off. It's like glue. I don't know what to say. Look. It's hard like glue. I mean, look. What the fuck is it? You can, you, it's malleable for fuck's sake. Nice new setup. Took me fucking forever to clean. What kind of cunt uses glue as a fucking lubricant? And it's apart again. So two problems. The nozzle simply won't retract enough to allow a BB in. Um, schmear. The tappet plate I feel is a little bit too wide. It's not really. It looks like it's sliding forward rather than shooting forward. I have to address that as well. And the Jeftron. Once again, I was pleased to see that this was the, the digital or analog version, not the optical version, because it means there's buttons. A button is better because the Jeftrons are a bit of a twat to set up and they just forget their settings and all this kind of shit. The app stops working and it's things that bugs me about it. So I was really pleased to see this. And even with that little tiny micro switch there, not being pressed, you've got three switches, right? The first switch is your trigger that turns it on. The second switch is your sector gear hits it and that turns it off and back on again. Therefore, that is why the trigger does its thing. Then this one here is a power off switch, a momentary power off switch to the sector gear so you can have full auto. You can see that is not touching. It is on semi, but the vibration of the gun firing makes that bounce around and that's no good. Here we go. 11-1. 
And for the little fuck cunt that goes, oh look, short stroking again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called being good at something, mate. It's called being good. I can't guarantee the person using it isn't going to struggle. So I've got to make sure that not only is it good work, but it's safe for the person to use as well. Because I can make anything work. This is a 35k warhead on 11.1. Standard gear ratio. No short stroking. Are you ready? Now, that was just previously saved to semi and three shot burst. And it's not saved to it anymore because the Jeftron just forgets. Forgets. But it works. Okay, there it was. Watch. Oh look, a double tap. I wonder why. A double tap. I wonder why. But then suddenly, right on cue, semi-auto again. I've set this to semi on both settings. Okay. Seems like it's fine. But it's always when you leave it alone just for a little while, you stand back, and you go, thank God my Jeftron MOSFET is behaving. Thank God. Yeah? Let me go over here. We unplug. We plug back in again. It beeps or vibrates or chirps. Now, it does this on a brush motor. It does this on a brushless motor. It does it while it's set to semi. It does it whether you've got pre-cock on or off or a little bit or lots. It does this on active brake on, off, little bit or lots. It is completely random. It does it whether that sets to burst, or full, or semi, or safe. It doesn't matter how it's set. It does it whenever it feels like it. Now the guy paid 200 quid, he says he thinks he remembers paying for this gun, with the Jeftron in it, with um, a high torque Nuprol motor, uh, but obviously somebody else had done all that other shit and filled it with glue and whatever else. Now, it'd be very easy to go, well, it's probably the glue's fault and all these other people's fault, the Jeftron MOSFET, and you could very well be right, but I've had so many issues with Jeftron MOSFETs that that did not come as a shock. It did not come as a shock. And the Jeftron MOSFET is now clean as a whistle. Um, there's no optics being covered. It's just those little buttons. It's just the vibration of the unit making it fire. Meh. Unfortunately, this is one of those times where the gun sounds fine. It feeds fine. But... It's just not perfect, but budgetary wise, paying me more time and changing the MOSFET because every so often it forgets to stop firing and gives you a double tap. One of those things. Now, but he's happy. It works. He only paid 200 quid for it anyway. So even with my time, all the parts I put in there, it fires better than a uh, standard Crytac and it costs the same price overall as a standard Crytac. Just happens to every so often. Fire, double tap. What can I say?